Welcome. If you are watching this, you've turned into my Striking Ghosts channel. My name is Davis. I record under the name of Striking Ghosts, and I write uh, music on keyboard, ukulele, mandolin, banjo, and of course here the guitar. And uh, since it's been really hard to play live for, oh, we're going on almost two years now, um, I thought I'd film a series of videos and play live, but, um, you know, not try to edit them and then play live, you know, play a few songs live and upload them onto my, onto my channel. Um, so uh, I'd like to play three original songs, uh, from, from different albums that I've written. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about each one if you're still tuning in, hopefully. Um, this first one is the uh, fourth track from my NYEP. I took a trip to New York a few years ago and felt very inspired and wrote uh, six songs while I was there, made it into an EP that's available to stream on Spotify and on other channels and stuff. So um, I wrote this song just about, you know, just the way we feel about life sometimes um where we feel like we're trying and struggling and trying to go up the hill and it's just hard to get up there it's hard when there's so much so much against you sometimes and i feel that way a lot of times and i wrote uh the the, the fourth track on on nyep kind of about that about that feeling about just basically wanting to just give up, give up based on so many things. And, uh, and yet you don't, and yet you don't, you find some, you find something that, that motivates you to keep going. And the first verse of the song, uh, I'm afraid of great heights. I, I, I'm trying to think, I think that was inspired by yeah, going up somewhere very tall while I was in New York and I don't know what it was. It could have been, you know, it could have been the Empire State Building or something. And, you know, I, I go up to those kind of things and I I don't want to, I know they've got the fences up and everything. I still, I just, I don't like getting so close. I like the view. The view is great, but I don't like getting really close to that fence and peering down and, oh, look at all, oh, there's a, you know, there's there's the park, you know, or, you know Central Park and all that. Yeah, it, it takes, it takes me you know, some courage to really, to really do that. So I think that's where that verse came from. And then I thought of other things, you know, that I'm afraid of and, and that I'm scared of. And, and I think when I, when I was thinking in that way, I was thinking, oh, maybe I should just like, just get, get out of this place. Not, not, a, not a New York, but out of this place, this globe. And um, you just get, you can get overwhelmed. So when I was in New York, the song's not about saying, oh, New York was a you know, not, it was a great trip. But I think those kind of thoughts can, you know, you, when you write, you kind of just have to, whatever you write, it's great to go with your gut. So you think, oh, you're in a place that's so magical and, has so much history and is world renowned and you oh, so you're supposed to write about you know new york or something the beauty of new york no i think it's it's really good to just go with your gut i think it's good to just say okay well i'm not feeling that great about life today so why not write about that and then you know then you look back on that kind of thing that you write about, whether it's a song, whether it's a poem, whether it's a short story, and then and then you try to reflect and, and try to add dimensions and layers to it. Because I didn't want to just write this song and just say, oh, you know, I'm feeling, uh, I'm out of here. But I want to look deeper into the song. So I probably talked way, way too long. Um, but hey, I uh, wanted to try to explain this song called Wave the World. That's The song is called 
with what? Wave the World, the fourth track from NYEP. So uh, the next song I'd like to play is um, on the album 12 Visions. Um, this song I wrote, I, I'm gonna, th I'm thinking, I, I think I, there's a lot of stuff going on in the media at the time I wrote this song. Um, but I gotta say, I, I, I when I when I think about what really made me write the song, I think it was the whole Tiger Woods scandal. I think it was that. But there was a lot of stuff happening at that time, and this was the whole, you know, Tiger Woods cheating scandal. And this is when you know his reputation was really, really on the line. And I, I don't know. Um, I think around that time the whole Mel Gibson thing was happening too, where he was just, you know, he was out, you know, and I was just thinking, wow, these celebrities are really, <laughs> they're sports celebrities, Hollywood celebrities, they're really screwing everything up. They have built personal empires. They've made their dreams. They've made their dreams come true, and now they have to 
do all this work to hopefully save their careers. And not that I, well, I guess I'll just say this. I mean, look, look now, I mean, Tiger Woods survived that time. Mel Gibson, mm, I mean, uh, not really. So I think about, you know, when I wrote this song, it was basically about how, you know, you make these mistakes um, and you get caught in these mistakes and it's really, really, really hard to come back from these mistakes that that you make. I mean, one of the ones that, I'll tell you personally, one of the ones that impacted me the most, which, which I mean, impacted me, not personally, but just really hit me really hard, was the Michael Richards thing. When they taped that whole thing, um, I think at the Laugh Factory, forgive me, it might, it might've been the comedy store, but um, when they taped that whole thing of how he had that meltdown and I mean, I don't, I, I'd have to look at the video again and see how long it lasted, but that you can, you can see someone's career collapsing in front of you. And yeah, the next day or the day after he did the David, David Letterman apology, that didn't really help things. Um, I think that was more for Jerry Seinfeld, who just didn't want to ruin the syndication rights, you know, oh my gosh, you better make this right, Michael, you know, um, but he never came back from that. Ne never. I, so anyway, this song's called Down the Drain. That That's a little bit of the history of this, this song from the album uh, 12 Visions. It's called Down the Drain.
that's down the drain. So, yeah, I think it was inspired by definitely Tiger Woods because they talk about a woman and family and, you know, he, like, when, when Tiger messed up, yeah, he lost his, lost his family and, and everything. But I think there's a little bit of the, the other celebrities that I mentioned before in that song. I, I, do, I do enjoy playing that song. It's a fun one. Okay, so we're going to end this session with one other song. Um, this was a single uh yeah it's was it's it's on um it's on spotify as a single and it was the fourth technically the fourth single from my debut striking ghost album called thank god for your mother um on the cover of the album thank god for your mother is a cat uh her name's mindy and i took a picture of her sleeping in my guitar case and i thought it was a fun picture to put for the album cover um she was a very special part of my life. Um, she passed away uh, many a year ago now. Wow, it's so crazy to think that. But this song's really about her, um, about uh, this this cat passing away, because she meant so much to me for so many different reasons. And I totally understand everybody's got an attachment to, to his or her, you know, pet. Um, but, but this was a... A, a, a cat that we adopted. I was married at the time. My ex-wife, my wife at the time, we adopted this cat from the neighbor across the street because we were worried about her crossing the street, you know, to get cat food. I don't know why she wouldn't stay on her, her, her side on in her near her house. She just wasn't that kind of cat, and people would leave cat food out in our building across the street and she would limp, she had a, a limp from something and she would walk across the street to get her food. And the more we saw this cat as we lived in the, you know, the building across the street from her real house, we thought, oh my gosh, this cat is going to get hit one of these days. It's a residential neighborhood, but still, you know, cars drive fast, cars aren't looking and she's not the fastest cat in the world. She has a limp. So we asked the, uh, her owner, her, her, her real owner, we just asked. We said, look, we'll take care of her. We'll, but we got, we got to keep her in her house because we asked him before. I know this is a long story. Sorry. We uh, asked him before to, to please keep her in the house because she's going to get hit. And he said he, he would, and, and it just never happened. I don't know. Cats, cats, you know, they're, they're cats. But we kept her in our house. She helped our marriage at the time. We enjoyed having her with us. I I didn't really have any pets growing up, per se. Not like I could really look back on my childhood or adolescence and go, oh, yeah, that. I mean, we had an animal or two in the house, but it didn't really feel like mine. So for me, this was. And then I had and then there's another story with an ex-girlfriend, but this felt like the real like the first animal I really ever had. And then to have it help bond my ex-wife together and I together at the time was really special. So I wrote it about her and um, she'll always be special to me. Um, yeah, but I also, I you know, this song can be interpreted for anybody who's lost any living creature. You know, I, I tried to write it a bit ambiguously so that you could you know, it was inspired by Mindy, absolutely, but it could also be used to uh, think of anyone that you had in your life that passed away and that you'll carry with you, that you'll think of often, that you, that you learn so much from and that you'll pass on those, those teachings to whoever you you know crosses your path for the rest of your life so that's that's a little bit of the detail of this song called deep inside
have traveled so far away And when I get to touch you again No matter how much I pray Sometimes the shadows are all the show It gets too dark to fight or go That's deep inside um, for um, from Cat Mindy. But if you if you can hear from the lyrics, it's it's for anyone who's lost any any creature, human or pet. So uh, thank you for listening to my stories and hearing these songs, uh, these striking ghosts songs. You can uh, see my music. It's on iTunes. It's on Spotify, Amazon, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I do hope to be playing again soon. That would be really great live. That would be great to be playing live. But until then, I'll probably see you or hopefully you'll see me in another video uh, in, the, in the near future. Thank you again and keep playing music. <laughs>